When you start college, that's the time when you have the chance to experiment, when you have the chance to open yourself up to new things, when you can discover who you are and who you might become. Tell me one thing. Yes. Is my daughter going to have a job and she's not going to come back home after it's done? The very concept of the institution of higher learning is about to be broken. Our nation's combined student loan debt has now hit one trillion dollars. College tuition has increased more than any other good or service in the entire U.S. economy. It's like a subprime mortgage broker that ripped you off. Original balances in the tens and twenty thousands of dollars ballooning up into hundreds of thousands of dollars. If I do ever have kids, my private loans will be directly passed to them even if I die. It's a nightmare. The government will make a hundred and eighty-four billion off our kids trying to get an education. Colleges have turned into these large businesses. It's a feeding frenzy to outbuild your rivals. It created a race. You've got to cater to out-of-state students who want to party. Some of our leading presidents can be quite shameless in the size of their compensation. The older generations that criticize the millennials grew up in a time when you could go to a state university and pay your way through with summer jobs. There's going to be a collapse. People just don't want to pay for it anymore. There's all sorts of things that got us into this mess, and it wasn't the cost of educating the students. I want this for my kids. It's just too bad it costs $60,000 a year. Peter Thiel is offering college students $100,000 if they drop out of school and start their own business. If you didn't go to college, what would you do instead? When I went to school, there was no way to access the services that higher education provided. Now you can't. I want to better myself. If I dropped out of Harvard, I'm back where I started. What kind of a society do we want to be? America has been all about critical thinking. There has to be a change coming. Hey, what's up everyone? Valerie here with some Hollywood news. After the successful release of X-Men Days of Future Past, all talk has now turned to X-Men Apocalypse. The plot for the film will help broaden the X-Men universe in general and will merge several cast members from the original X-Men trilogy with the 2011 prequel X-Men First Class. Director Brian Singer has revealed that X-Men Apocalypse will be more of a sequel to X-Men First Class, featuring the younger version of the mutants set in the 1980s. X-Men Apocalypse comes to theaters May 27th, 2016. And that's all for today. Subscribe to keep up to date and remember, every dog has its day. Ciao, ciao.